All right, so you're starving of fuel, you've ran out and you don't know what's going on and you put new fuel in, but you need to bleed the air out of the system so the diesel engine will run. All right, so first things first, you look at the little white filter. Sometimes it's a clear filter, sometimes it's white and you see if it's all clogged up. If it looks okay, then you should be all right, but they're only about $5 to change for a new one anyway. And if you have one handy, they are eight millimeter connectors and you slide on the hose on both ends. And mine are a flathead screwdriver. Sometimes yours might be a star or a Phillips head screwdriver. Just have, best to have both just in case. Okay, so you've got the fuel, new fuel in the tank and you need to prime the system. First thing is, if you have a plunger like this one with either a silver or a white top, you unscrew it first. If you have a black one, you can just press it down and do the plunging. If you've got a screw top one, you have to unscrew it first and then start to do the fuel priming. This is taking the fuel from the tank, putting it through the lift pump, into the main filter, and then into the injection pump, which then puts it into the injectors up here. So what we've got to do is bring the fuel force. This is a way that is getting the fuel all the way without actually having to use your battery. So, and what I do is I look at this line here for air bubbles along the way and once I can see a good amount of fuel is going through, then I'm all right. If you can't get a good look, a good measurement is to do a plunge of this a hundred times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and then just do that 10 times. It should only take you about a, two minutes or so. And once you're done, push it down and then tighten it back up. If you've got the black plunger, that's a, just a press down one, you don't need to do anything for this step just here. Next thing I want you to do is to undo these little nuts here. So one, you do them anti-clockwise. Two, three and four 17 millimeter spanner all right that four those are the four that are easiest to get to you don't need to do all five you need to do a minimum of two uh three will work well four's best but depends on what sort of spanner you've got and what your hardline routings are like to see if you can get to it so minimum two Max five, three good, four good. Now we go back to the car, inside. Make sure it's in neutral. Park brake is on. Give it a whole lot of fuel, like foot down to the floor. And then, that's all we're waiting for. Okay, you should be done for that little section. Only count five Mississippis. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, and you should be done. Sometimes it might take you up to 10 Mississippis, but usually five is enough. And then we go back around. We tighten these up one at a time. One. Two. Now I only undid two, so that means I've got three tightened up and two loose. Now we go back. Now we start the engine for five Mississippi again. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. See I'm giving it a whole lot of foot there to keep it going. And it's nice and stumbly. So now we're going to go back in the engine bay while it's running. You don't have to do this while it's running, but it's best you do to save what little bit left is in your battery. Go. 
just double checking yep and we are all done all right happy riding people